It's my pleasure now to welcome in one of Canada's most iconic female athletes, Jennifer Heil. Jen, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. When you retired in 2011, you had just won two world championships. 28 years old, top of your game. Why retire? <laughs> Yeah, well, um, for me in 2011, I had been on the national team for a decade. It had been my third Olympics in 2010. And I think I was just really fortunate to be able to say mission accomplished. You know, I had uh, dreams of winning Olympic medals and world championship titles. And I was fortunate to have tremendous support and uh, able to make those dreams come true. So for me, it was about um, the next chapter, and that was off the slopes. All right, but talking about your career, uh, quite a bit of drama. In Salt Lake City, you missed the podium by one hundredth of a point, but then you mm -hmm. bounced back at Turin to win a gold medal. What lesson did you take away from your athletic career? Um, yeah, well, my first Olympics, missing the podium by one one hundredth of a point is the smallest margin possible to, to miss an Olympic medal. It must have been a heartbreaker. Yes and no. I was proud of my performance, but at the same time, I realized how close I'd come and that if I wanted to be on that podium, I was going to have to be a lot smarter and uh, not just work harder. I had a number of injuries already, so that's how I ended up uh, moving to Montreal, finding the best team to work with me, and I really became strategic in the way I prepared. And uh, I was fortunate I had uh, business leaders across this country support me to train without compromise. I stood at the top of the mountain in Torino, and I knew that I had done everything in my power to be ready for that moment, and it was very empowering. And that's kind of the lesson I took away from, from sport, is that there's so much that's unpredictable out there, especially in a sport like mogul skiing, 30 seconds to be your best. Um, but so much can happen, and so my motto from that day forward was just preparing with no regrets. Well, off the slopes, but still keeping very busy. Of course, <laughs> you're involved with Because I'm a Girl, yeah. an international initiative fighting uh, global inequality. Tell me what you've taken away from that experience. Yeah, well, uh, being an ambassador for the Because I'm a Girl initiative has been uh, so enriching. I've been able to travel to uh, West Africa, Burkina Faso, uh, also to Rwanda. And it's been amazing to see what some people are up against, uh, specifically girls. Uh, they're often the last ones to go to school, to mm. get an education if they have the chance at all. Uh, their rights aren't protected. And we know that educating girls is a solution to um, lifting themselves and their communities and their countries out of poverty. It's so important. Um, so it's been really fun to be involved with a, an initiative that's doing such great work. Um, in 2010, I donated $25,000 of my own money to the initiative. That's how much I believe in what they're doing. And uh, had the idea that I should try and raise a million dollars for them. I had no idea how we were going to do that. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy to say three years later and a lot of hard work, we've done it. All right, so let's look at this. Olympic athlete, McGill graduate, civil rights advocate, that's quite the list you're building up. What's next? <laughs> oh no, uh, that's not that's not uh, that's not the way I, I see things. For me, when I'm passionate about something, I want to get involved. Um, you know, I wanted to be an Olympian before I knew in what sport. Um, so I just, you know, I feel feel fortunate to have so many opportunities, and whatever captures my imagination, I'm going to go 110 percent. So uh, I guess next is getting a real job, um, but I'm putting it off for a few more months. <laughs> All right. Now, before we wrap up, I want to look ahead to Sochi really briefly. Yeah. For more than a decade, you were the face of Canada's freestyle women's skiing program. Mm -hmm. Who's going to carry the torch moving forward? Well, that's what's so amazing about freestyle skiing is that we're so strong in this sport. Uh, we've been strong for decades. I'm not there anymore, but there's uh, two girls who've quickly taken my spot, Justine dufour Lapointe and her sister, Chloe dufour Lapointe. So uh, they're both really big medal hopefuls uh, for Sochi. I'm certain at least one of them will be on the podium. I'm hoping both of them can be there. Um, and then, of course, on the men's side, we have Mikhail Kingsbury and Alex Bilodeau, um, who are fighting one to every single competition. So so there's lots of talent. It's going to be quite a show for freestyle in Sochi. Well, a couple big names to keep your eye on, and of course, one name to always keep your eye on, Jennifer Hale. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. She's actually going